It is a new day. No idea where the last part of the video left off, but I'm keeping it in the same video because I didn't make much progress in the last video. I've got both seats fully in now, fully mounted up, fully bolted in. They're absolutely rock solid. That's shaking the whole uh, rail, not even like just the seat, but... Right, what we've done, in the original start of this video, we were going to use the side mounts. I scrapped that idea because the seats were way too high. Um, so what we've done is we've mounted them directly to the rails. Um, so they are still lower than the original seats, actually, but um, they're... They're better mounted than it was when the side mount rails things were on. When, because we were going to use, we we're going to use these, but I didn't need those because they're just way too high and it makes it look stupid. It wouldn't have worked. Um, so all I need to do now is sort out the seat belt routing. Obviously, this needs to root through there, and the buckle needs bolting on still. Um, and then all the Corolla needs after that is a bit of TLC really and some little bits and bobs here and there and um, I'll try and give you a quick look at the rails let me get this light don't know if you can see so we've got bar that goes across it's like the bar I'll put some pictures on screen of before I bolted it all down um, and before it had all been drilled but it's basically a square and the seat mounts onto that square and the rail mounts onto that square. The seats are fully in, finally. They're really comfortable. <laughs> I absolutely love them. Um, so the next step, I've got some other stuff in the garage to do. I've got some other stuff to put on. When I first started working on this car, the bolt rounded off here, so I just cut the bracket for the headlight. And the same happened here. But obviously, it's just proper loose. So it's kind of dodgy and um, you won't be able to adjust the headlight bulb inside it for the MOT. So, what I did was, it's in my car, so because I basically butchered those and broke those, I got two new headlights for the Corolla, this one's brand new and the other one in the boots just used, um, they're both in perfect condition, they both have this bracket which is the one that I sawed off because the bolt rounded and there's no way of getting underneath it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll nut and bolt it with some new bolts and it'll be like brand new basically. I'll have to swap all the bulbs over and everything. Also, because I bashed out the cat of my original exhaust, it's going to need a cat for MOT to pass emissions. I've got a brand new cat pipe section there, cat and silencer, and here's the back box and the rest of it. So it'll have a complete It'll have a complete full exhaust for its MOT. Obviously it needs a complete exhaust for the MOT. It cannot go through as it is. It is literally straight piped right now. It's ridiculously loud as well. It will be straight piped after the MOT, but I'll end up chopping the back box off and welding this one on, which we were gonna use this pipe, but I don't think we can do anymore. <laughs> I'll take it and if we can use it, then that'll be cool. But if not, I'll just use the brand new one that I've got. And I've also got some other little bits and bobs that need doing. For example, a lot of vacuum hoses in the engine bay are just disconnected, especially the vacuum hoses and stuff for the charcoal canister. And I don't think the MOT advice, the MOT test or whatever they're called will let that go through. I unplugged the, well, I don't have an airbag on the driver's side, obviously, because you know I've got that steering wheel. Oh, I'm so happy these bucket seats are in now. It's just, it was such a headache getting those in. I didn't film it because I was literally just wrestling with the brackets for about literally nearly two hours. Um, and it was crazy. But yeah, I'm going to get these headlights in. Uh, well, I'll have to take these headlights out and swap the bulbs over. Um, get some new hardware. I've probably got some in the bench back there. Get some new hardware so that I can install the new headlights. Make sure they're all working. And I've got to put the exhaust on. But I think I might um, I might pack up and go to Subway around the corner, and then come back and do the exhaust after that. Um, so yeah, today's going to be a very busy day. It's going to be a long ass video. So I hope you guys have got some snacks with you. <laughs> let's just get going. I'm going to take these headlights off, swap the bulbs over and stop rambling. So fucking let's crack on. The new headlights are in, fully secured. All the bulbs are in and everything. I'll be able to test that this afternoon. I'm going to have a quick break now because I'm absolutely starving. I've still got the seat belts to sort out. I've still got the buckles that I need to put in for the seat belts. I've got this vacuum line stuff that I need to sort out. I'm just going to pack up into the garage, lock up, go to Subway um, and have lunch 
and then I'll come back and carry on later on today. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Here we go. <laughs> right, I haven't checked in a while. I've uh, obviously finished lunch now. It's about half two-ish and I've already done loads of stuff. Um, got the seat belt sorted out for the bucket seat. It's got the buckles in. Don't know if you can see that. You can't see this one, but it is there. Um, got the seat belts routed through the bucket seat. So they come through the top here. Then they go out the bottom down there. Um, and then obviously when you put it, you put it, plug it in through that hole in the corner. Um, but they look sick. I absolutely love those. If it will decide to focus. Is it going to focus? Nah. There we go. They look mint. Um, I got the battery tie down put back on, so the battery's nice and secure. I got the uh, charcoal canister delete plugged back up. That's plugged in there. Not plugged in, but you know what I mean. With the pipe. Um, so I think that's everything in here sorted pretty much. Everything in the engine bay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is jack it up inside the garage, cause. Outside it's very windy and it's raining all the time and in a bid to not get wet I'm going to do it in here. I do have enough room believe it or not, the camera makes it look a lot smaller than it is. Like it's basically as wide as me more or less. Um, so I'll jack it up in here, get it on axle stands. I'll, obviously I'll only jack up one side on axle stands but I'll do it quite high so it tilts it. Um, axle stands, shock off the wheels at the front so it can't roll. Um, even though the handbrake's up anyway obviously. but. And that's the plan, and once I've done that, I'll get the exhaust on, which is all on the bench here. So I'll have to take the decat exhaust off, or the decat part off, put that on the bench, put all this on. I'll probably time lapse that or something. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on with this now, get this going. And this is basically the last task of today, unless I can find something else. <laughs> So, with help from my brother, hello. Um, this is Benjamin. Hi. I've got a torch on my head so that I can see what I'm doing. My other light ran out, but we've got the exhaust fully on now. Um, as you can see, here is the muffler and the rest of the exhaust down there. It is all fully on. It's uh, hanging low a little bit for some reason because there's no hangers in the middle. Um, but. It hung low before anyway, and it scraped long speed bumps and shit. Um, we'll probably be able to get it welded further down to the actual car itself so that it can be secure. But yeah, I just wanted to wrap up the video, because at the end of last video, well at the end of the last clip, I didn't actually show any more progress after cutting the hangers off the exhaust. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that I have finished it. I'm not going to start it, we're just going to push it back in, um, because the battery is fully flat. And I cannot be asked to jump start it to reverse it about two inches, but I'm sure it's quieter because it's got a fat muffler on the back. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we're actually, I think we're literally two subs off 2,000 now. So if you do want to hit that subscribe button, it'd really help me out a lot because we're real close to 2,000. And he's laughing at me. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.